My son Thomas had some friends over. They were playing down by the creek. As I'm working, my son's friend comes running up from the yard, from down the creek, screaming that Thomas needs help. And Thomas uh, had been uh, impaled by a fallen tree. Fortunately, I had great neighbors that um, helped me get Thomas out of the creek and up to the house to wait for the ambulance um, with the branch still in him. The trauma team uh, quickly went to the emergency department and we found him in the trauma room uh, with a great big tree branch going through the upper part of his leg or groin area. And so we were able to take a few minutes to get a CAT scan to get a little more information uh, from an imaging point of view about exactly where this penetrating tree branch went. And, uh, uh, and then we went quickly to the operating room. The injury was right near what's called the femoral artery and vein, the major artery and vein that goes down the leg. And so I was worried that as we pulled that out, there might be a hole there that, that could cause massive hemorrhage. That was the big concern. It's tough to be relieved in that situation, but I, I was relieved that it had not hit the femoral artery. The stick had gone through the, the shorts he was wearing and a lot of other tissue. And when we pulled it out, I kept picking more and more out. And, and again, what came out turned out to be a lot of, a lot of dirt, uh, maybe tr tree leaves, uh, shorts, and even a spider. So Dr. Harmon had, had a team of surgeons that uh, he consulted. He was very um, transparent about how they were going back and forth, about how to best treat the wound, about how to best drain the wound um, while he was still in the hospital, and how to get a quicker recovery. Told us, you know, a child comes in, needs a, their appendix removed. That's a very standard, straightforward procedure, step one, step two, step three. This is not like that because of the type of injury, um, and they just had to approach it differently and do some brainstorming um, that you know they might not typically need to do with more standard procedures. It was some months of recovery, and now he is 100% healed and cleared for all physical activity and no issues. That's the most satisfying part, is to see somebody have that potential uh, severity of an injury, uh, get through it, and then get back to a normal 11-year-old kid life. I would like to thank the team that helped me when I was in pain and my helper who helped me uh, figure out how to walk again. I had to learn how to pick my feet up again and move them in front of me. I did have to use a walker. Thanks for your support for this wonderful hospital. Oshai is able to offer a lot of extras and things that really help people that are here at the hospital and spending a lot of time in the hospital um, and a lot of enrichment for the kids that are here and the adults that are, that are here too spending their time. Um, and I think it's really important.